Hey, what's up, guys? I was going to record this on Valentine's Day as like a big surprise of, hey, I'm actually being productive. But um, lately, life has usually been getting in the way and has thrown off all my creative, productive energy to do, I don't know, just anything. I'm just, I feel so bad that I haven't been on top of my blog and other things too that I wanted to get done and even schoolwork is kind of hard but I think I got my motivation back so I can uh, conquer my Spanish homework for today. So um, today's goal is to try to wrap up everything I want to say in 15 minutes or less. Um, I put some notes uh, so I won't hopefully ramble too long. Uh, anyway, I just want to let you know, don't worry about me, uh, I'll get over everything that's going on. Um, it's no big deal or anything, so, um, okay, first I want to s apologize for the delay again, and, um, that this isn't anything super special other than, uh, me kind of rambling a bit about certain stuff that's happening in the Asian industry. And I also want to apologize for me having lack of reviews on my blog, but hopefully I will try to get back on track once I get everything straightened out with schoolwork and such. And soon I'll be throwing in working on cosplay as well in the mix, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, I have a lot of uh, albums still lined up, and I finished a five batch for uh, this week. So hopefully I can get another five out. Um, recently that got posted was the Crush 290s Visual K covers. I accidentally had the wrong CD cover, but I, I fixed it. Um, and I also had some, uh, the last things I've had was some frantage and answering questions and stuff. And I'm still accepting questions. And just a reminder, there's a poll going on on whether you want to get to know me a little bit more. Seems like some people do, which is nice and comforting. Um, so hopefully this weekend I can catch up on, on on all the music and then I can do more updated music that isn't from last year. I'll probably try to mix it up with 2011-2012 stuff. So I'm sorry! I, I still am keeping up with everything. I watched Miss A's last, uh, their latest PV and I really like it despite what people said. Um, and I, uh, my, rec my five recommendations have been posted today, so I hope you guys like that. It shows that I am keeping up with everything, it's just hard to gain access of music and keep up with it all on top of school and life drama. So, uh, aside from that, uh, let me quickly go over what I think about Big Bang. It was in my, my, uh, top 15 things I'm really excited about this year and I think they were number 14 so that's not really saying much and if I could I would just bump them off with everything they've done from the promotional pictures those look terrifying to me like I I don't get the hair the look just everything just kind of turns me off um if I can use an example a uh, top him and his blue hair. When I first saw it, I was like craving cotton candy at midnight because his hair reminded me of that. And then someone mentioned uh, his shoes that match his hair. Reminded him of toothpaste. And I saw some screen cap of him from the this uh, healing camp thing that they're doing for a day song and GD. And now I can't stop thinking of like toilet bowl water. That's not good. Um, and then I saw the video clips of them in New York filming and I'm just like scared and I stopped watching these little teaser talk things because I think those are completely pointless and have like, I don't know, I, I just don't care. I just want them to get over and to release the, the damn CD because I'm, I'm not really expecting much honestly like if it's bad I'm not gonna be surprised so 
Especially because uh, they're trying to do a six song promo thing that like 21 did and Rihanna I guess in the States does, but I, I don't know. The, the last album, mini album, and all the hype around that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just skeptical there, but you never know what like, could surprise me. That would be nice. I would love to be, you know, pleasantly surprised that it's not a complete failure, but I'm not really... I don't have much high hopes for it, and I, I if there's hype around it, I just kind of, eh, whatever. Okay, uh, next is, I have something about the Asiatics tour. Yeah, really excited about that, since I was kind of sad that they didn't really have any dates anywhere else other than like New York and California, and now they have dates everywhere! Yes! So, um, I'm going to the Dallas show because it's the closest and it's around, um, it's around spring break for me. So, I'm gonna go see Orgy, and then the next day, I'm gonna go see Asiatics. Win-win. And around that time will also be the release of Ichini's comeback album. I'm really, really excited. I randomly was checking their website and I forgot that... I'm really excited about them coming back, especially after uh, Yusuke left, and their music has been kind of going downhill-ish. I mean, Seven wasn't that bad, but it, their music has gotten really soft when they got major, but now they're on a different label, they it seems like they have a different sound and a new image, and they look really happy in their blogs, and I'm just like, eee! I can't wait. And the teaser just makes me more anxious since I've watched one more time. I'm just like, oh my god, next month! Is, March is gonna be a great month for music. So, looking forward to that. Um, more than Big Bang. Um, also, let's see. Uh, recently, Wonder Girls and SNSD were in the US, which was interesting. I didn't get to see the Wonder Girls movie because I only get 25 channels in my dorm. So, um, I'm either gonna have to look up the movie or just wait for it to repeat on, uh, Teen Nick when I go back home for spring break because, hey, I get the channel there. But I heard, uh, it's, I mean, it's no, no Hollywood thing, but, um, I wish, you know, Wonder Girls up. Luck because I really like them over SNSD and there's hope for them, I suppose. Um, as for SNSD, I uh, got to watch them on David Letterman. Uh, first, I was kind of dreading it because I was like, oh, I don't really watch David Letterman that much. I haven't watched the, his show since I was a kid because my my mom, my parents would watch David Letterman, but I wouldn't normally watch it by choice, but uh, Bill Murray was on there, so I was just like, woo, that makes it better. I love Bill Murray. And then they performed, and uh, the space was just so small, and they remixed this song, and I mean, it wasn't a disaster, but it wasn't like what all you, like, Sonys would say, or whatever, as flawless. But I can say that it is a lot better than the performances I've seen on YouTube when they're in their home country or wherever, because, ugh, and I still can't stand the boys. And then I saw the uh, Kelly show, morning show, whatever, on YouTube, because I, they, they didn't, I didn't see it on TV here. Uh, they had some uh, breaking news thing taken over in the morning, and I couldn't stay awake because I'm like, it's too early. I'm just gonna go back to sleep. Screw it. So it, they went back to the original, which was okay. Not gonna say it wasn't flawless. So they're not that great. I mean, it, they're all right. It's still a lot better than what I've seen from them. So. Kudos to them, but I'm, then I heard that they were supposed to, they went to some like nightclub in New York and I saw some footage of that on Soul Beats and I did not get the whole point of that. If they're not really debuting in the US, I, I never understood the whole purpose of them being in America, honestly. So whatever, I mean if they want to... If they want to debut in America, go ahead, I guess. But I don't think they're. they're it, it's gonna 
work very well compared to Wonder Girls. I think Wonder Girls has a, I don't know, they have a little slight step up, especially with the whole language barrier thing. Uh, on a related note with SNSD is SM Entertainment, and you know, you, uh, you know, I have slight issues with them. So now my, with the whole like EXO thing, and now I'm even like more confused because okay, I understand that this wasn't a music video or a debut. It was a prologue, just to, you know, showcase the members, but only two or four sung. And uh, I was happy uh, someone made a video com putting both versions of the videos next to each other so you could see the difference. So um, if you're subscribed, and you better be subscribed, or you're my friend on YouTube, or you're watching this on my whole, click on my account, and you can probably see that I added it to my K music playlist. It's on there, and I really like that because I was like, "There's a difference." I wonder if anyone else notices the difference. And I heard that um, the XOM and Super Junior M, their Chinese isn't that great. I've heard it. Uh, I read a comment about it on Soul Beats from a Chinese fan, I guess, or a Chinese American fan or something. She said the that she was translating the comments on uh, the uh, site that's equivalent to YouTube, but it's in China. That the, their Chinese is just garbled, so I, I wouldn't know because I don't know Chinese and I don't listen to it enough to know what is good and what isn't. So, um, aside from that, um, so ever since the prologue, they I saw, hey, there's a new teaser featuring this person. I'm just like, more teasers? Why? What? What? The, it, the. So I think they're up to eighteen or some. I don't know, a hundred, whatever. How many teasers they have? Some more teasers. Okay, pretty much the teasers are basically clips from a prologue. Most, most from what I, I stopped watching the teasers. But that was the last one or two teasers I watched of EXO. And honestly, I'm, I'm not, you know that excited anymore. I mean, I'll watch it, just, you know, cure my curiosity of what they sound like, but whatever. Anyway, still, Team Chain!